Good morning. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Psalms appointed for today are 16 and 17. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life, in your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart, summon me by night. Melt me down, you will find no impurity in me. I give no offense that my mouth with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your law. In your paths my feet shall not stumble. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness. O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. 
Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who assault me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed their heart to pity and their mouth speaks proud things. They press me hard. Now they surround me, watching how they may cast me to the ground. Like a lion greedy for its prey and like a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront them and bring them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand from those whose portion in life is this world, whose bellies you fill with your treasure, who are well supplied with children and leave their wealth to their little ones. But at my vindication, I shall see your face. When I awake, I shall be satisfied, beholding your likeness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is from the book of Genesis. When people began to multiply on the face of the ground, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that they were fair, and they took wives for themselves of all that they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in mortals forever, for they are flesh. Their days shall be 120 years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterwards, when the sons of God went into the daughters of humans who bore children to them. These were the heroes that were of old, warriors of renown. The Lord saw that the wickedness of humankind was great in the earth and that every in inclination of the thoughts of their hearts was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he made, had made humankind on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot out from the earth the human beings I have created, people together with animals and creeping things and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the sight of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 10. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth, but it will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. For we have become partners of Christ, if only we hold our first, first confidence firm to the end. As it is said, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, as in the rebellion. Now, who were they who, who heard and yet were rebellious? Was it not all those who left Egypt under the leadership of Moses? But with whom was he angry for 40 years? Was it not those who sinned, whose bodies fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear that he would not enter his rest, if not to those who were un disobedient? So we see that they were unable to enter because of unbelief. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Canticle 18. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Gracious God, who kindled in your servants, Richard New Benson and Charles Gore, the grace to lead a revival of monastic life. Grant us also the resolve to serve you faithfully in contemplation and prayer, ministering to the world that you have made through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who reigns, lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, ever one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, through your grace, we are your people. Through your Son, you have redeemed us. In your spirit, you have made us your own. We pray for the church, for the worldwide Anglican communion, for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, and um, for the Diocese of Jerusalem in the Episcopal Church in Jerusalem and the Middle East. We pray for the Episcopal Church, for Michael, our presiding bishop, for our Diocese of Pennsylvania, for Daniel, our bishop, his canons, the members of standing committee, diocesan council, 
and the Diocesan Board of Trustees. For St. James Church in Downingtown, its people and its clergy, the Reverend John Simons. We pray also for our companion Diocese of Guatemala, especially the Church of St. Joseph of the Exodus in Guatemala City, its people and its clergy, the Reverend Deacon Rodolfo Saavedra. For our parish, for Rachel and John, the staff, the vestry, for all who minister and worship here. Make our hearts respond to your love. We pray for the nations of the world, for justice and peace. Make our lives bear witness to your glory in the world. We pray for the sick and those in need, for all on our prayer list. Make our wills eager to obey and our hands ready to heal. We give you thanks for all the blessings of life. Make our voices one with all your people in heaven and on earth. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you and have a good day.